Welcome to how to create Ansible inventory files and static examples. In this video, we're going to go over what Ansible inventory is. We're going to talk about the different characteristics of Ansible inventory, the inventory file locations, different types of Ansible inventory files, syntax that you can use to define ranges of devices, and we're going to briefly touch on more concepts for a later video like Ansible inventory management, children and nesting concepts, and dynamic inventories. All right, so just briefly, what is Ansible inventory? Uh, the definition is that it defines a collection of hosts managed by Ansible. And really it's how we organize and separate our hosts that Ansible is gonna be interacting with. Here we have some of the basic characteristics of Ansible inventory. Hosts can either be assigned to groups or not assigned to groups. Uh, groups can have child groups. Hosts can be members of multiple groups and variables can be set to apply to the hosts and groups. So there's two persistent Ansible groups that are going to be there whether or not you define them. Uh, the first is all, which is all of the devices. And then there's also ungrouped devices if they're not specifically put into a group. So the Ansible inventory file location is defined in the ansible.config file. And you can do that in the ansible.config file one of two ways. As you can see there, I have inventory equals. Now both of those would be different ways of specifying it within the ansible.config file. One would be with the YAML technique, and the other one that starts with the dot then forward slash my host, that would be with the INI technique, and we're going to talk about those in a minute. And if you don't specify it in the ansible.config file, the default location is listed there. It's going to be the Etsy slash ansible slash host file. And of course, if you specify the inventory in the ansible.config file, that's going to override the default location, meaning the default file is only used if you don't specify it in the ansible.config. So as I previously mentioned, there's two methods. There's the INI method and the YAML method. The INI method is a little bit simpler to start with. If you went through the previous videos in this series, it's the method that I use there to define the inventory. And really the distinguishing characteristic that separates it from the YAML method is that members can be in more than one group. So if you need to do that, then the INI method is probably what you want to do. However, I know that a lot of other people like the YAML method because it's more programmatic and it seems more logical. And I also know that within the Ansible community, it's hotly debated as to which one is better. Here we have examples of the INI method and the YAML method. And effectively, these two examples accomplish the same thing. The INI method is on the left and the YAML method is on the right. Each of them have two groups of devices, USA and Canada. Each of them contain two hosts and each of those are children of the North American group. And also just to note, these are both examples of static inventory files, which means that they're manually defined rather than dynamically defined. And here we have a couple of examples of how to define ranges of inventory. And so you can see this list of four devices is equivalent to where we have just this one here using the brackets and the colon to specify one through four. And then I have another example down here at the bottom of where we are again using the brackets and the colon to effectively summarize an entire subnet. If we were gonna be defining our devices by IP address, any device that had an IP address in that subnet would be considered in that group. So that concludes this video. On um, this video, we went over what Ansible is, some of the characteristics of Ansible, inventory, inventory file location, uh, the IMI and YAML static methods, and then we gave some examples. And I'm going to be doing more videos on inventory. We're going to talk a little bit more about inventory management techniques, more nesting and grouping, how to verify inventory, how to list out all your inventory. And then I'm going to do more on dynamic inventory and give some examples of that as well. And for those of you that are just starting out and you haven't seen my other videos, this video is actually a part of a larger series. And the first video is I take you through how to get started automating with Ansible quickly. I show you how to get everything installed and get up and automating. And so if you haven't done that yet, you should go check it out. And if you found this helpful, uh, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.